Hey there, uh, I wanted to show you how to modify this uh, linear gradient for a background um, overlay is what we're using it for now here. And uh, you can see that this is actually a, a simple property, it's just a background is equal to linear gradient. Um, and see the, the problem here is that we got this like, it, it's a little too much, uh, we want it to be more gradient going down, so um, if we try to adjust the percentage value here, it um, Actually, that you know what that that basically works good enough for what we need to do. It actually, I don't even need to modify. But what I did want to show you is that if, if you want to add more control, um, you can add like uh, another like another third um, black, for example, um, or I mean like a, a different transparent color here. So if I click that one and I um, I'm gonna go RGBA here to make it more easy to see. So, so this way you can see now here I can adjust the the um, the transparency for that uh, at 10 percent, and it gives me just basically additional control over how this uh, gradient is going to look, which which can um, kind of allow you to. See, you see now when I'm adjusting this percentage, it's it's changing differently than it was before. Like it, it it's kind of a more gradual change. So um, in case you need more control, you can add that additional colors along the way, even if it's the same color, just um, black at a transparency, uh, at a transparency using RGBA. So, uh, but actually for my purpose, I think I'm just going to stick with what I was using before and change that percentage down there a little bit. And 24 is probably what I need. So there you go. That's how you can uh, make some modifications to your CSS uh, linear gradient.